<laughs> hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video here, we are revisiting the PlayStation 2 yet again because there has been another pretty awesome update for it in the form of Fun Tuna. Yes, we've covered free HD boot, free mic boot, for Tuna, but this is Fun Tuna. I am not mispronouncing that. Now, Fun Tuna at its core is still for Tuna. However, the big difference is this allows Free McBoot to be utilized on every single PlayStation 2 Slim thanks to Fortuna. To get into this real quick, Typically, free McBoot is recommended for the PlayStation 2, which is something you can install on your memory card, and I've covered this in a few videos prior. However, Fortuna is an alternative exploit you can use which works on all PlayStation 2 Slim systems, including the later revision 90,000 series Slim systems in which free McBoot's exploit was patched out of those. So that means that all PlayStation 2 Slims, including the ones that are patched, are vulnerable and can use Fortuna. However, not all Slims can use Free McBoot. Now, at this point, all PS2 Slims using software only can use Free McBoot thanks to Fortuna. In this case here, Fun Tuna, which makes it pretty fun. Now, I have covered installing Fortuna on a PlayStation 2 Slim in the past using Free DVD Boot, and this is going to be the same method we are using. However, to anybody who has installed Fortuna in the past and they're using it now, you do not need to use the free DVD boot portion of this, thankfully. You'll just need your USB drive. But for anybody who does not have a modified PlayStation 2 in any state, you're going to need, of course, your PS2 Slim. You're going to need a blank DVD so we can burn an image onto that. We're also going to need a USB drive and of course we're going to need our memory card. Now when it comes to the memory card, I always recommend getting an official Sony memory card if possible or third party one as long as it has Magic Gate on it. All those non-Magic Gate or cloned memory cards could be a bit hit or miss. Now I will say this with Fortuna, I've noticed that Fortuna does play along much nicer with these clone memory cards. Your mileage may vary, but in the end, if you're having some difficulty, I still always recommend getting an official memory card if you can. Either way, we now have all the hardware we need. So take your blank DVD, take your USB drive, move over to your PC, and let's get started here. Alright, so first off, let's cover free DVD boot. For this, all the links are going to be down below in the description for all the necessary info as well as downloads, but you'll need free DVD boot if you have not modified your PS2 and you have no way of booting up Homebrew currently. For this, it's pretty simple. You come to the free DVD boot page and you can click on read here if you have a PS2 Slim, and then click on download the ISO. So you can just click on this and save this somewhere you can easily find it. It's very simple to use. The written instructions are right here, but one thing to note is that your console must be set to English. So if you have any other language currently set on your PS2, you must set your console to English in order to use this properly. For burning a DVD, at least on Windows, I would recommend using ImageBurn. Pretty simple to use this, just download it from here and install the EXE like you would any other application. Now let's get ImageBurn set up. So here, you just need to launch ImageBurn, pop your blank DVD into your DVD drive, and click on Write Image File to Disk. Now make sure you have your DVD drive selected, and then click on this button right here to grab the ISO that you've downloaded. Since this is for a slim PS2, you'll need the all PS2 slims ISO. Click on that. And now to set this up, I'd recommend going to supported write speeds and find the lowest write speed capable on your burner and disc and select that under your write speed settings. So the slowest I can burn is at 6X. That's what I'd recommend. I have the ISO set up there. And then once all this is ready to go, you click on this button and give it a few moments to burn this DVD. Now, I'm not going to be burning a DVD right now because I already have one all set up and burned on the side, but that's all the process you need for the free DVD boot portion of burning that off. Now let's have some fun with Fun Tuna. If you check out the form post, I would recommend also looking at all of the installation instructions and such because it is pretty easy to go through and it's pretty short in case you're confused by anything here. 
but either way, you'll just need to scroll down to the latest download available and click to download it. Again, just save it somewhere you can easily find it. If you need some extraction software for your R file, I would recommend using something such as 7-Zip, which you can just download and install on your PC. Now, when you download Funtuna, you should get this RAR file here. Just right click and extract it into its own folder. So we now have the Funtuna folder and it's going to look a little something like this. So we just need these two files. We're going to need the Funtuna file and we're going to need the ulaunch elf folder because it would be recommended to use the ulaunch elf which is provided with this as opposed to using the one on free DVD boot just in case something odd happens with the timestamps here. In order to copy these over, we do need our USB drive inserted and for this, we have to make sure that it is FAT32 file system. So as you can see, mine is already FAT32, and if you do need to format it, it's pretty simple. Just make sure you back up any data you care about off your USB drive, exit out of this, and it's as simple as right-clicking, clicking on format, and from here you can do FAT32 as your file system, the allocation size by default is fine, quick format is fine, and after a few moments, this should all be formatted. So there we go, that's one way of doing it. Now, what if you go to format and your USB drive is too large so it doesn't have FAT or FAT32, it just has NTFS and XFAT? Well, there's a few different ways that we can format this, but I'm going to show you my preferred way, at least on Windows. The way I like to format FAT32 USB drives that are too large to easily format that way would be using FAT32 format or GUI format. You can just come here and click on this image to download the exe file. You should have the exe file right there, and to get started, you do want to find which drive letter you have. So mine is I, that's the one I want to format. Now grab any of your File Explorer windows and you want to close out of them completely. Then grab GUI format, right click, run as administrator. It will probably ask you for user account control access, which you can just say yes. And it looks a little something like this. You wanna make sure your drive letter is selected, default is fine, quick format is fine, start okay, and there we go. This is also formatted. So that's two ways of formatting to FAT32 for your USB drive. Now once we have all of that set up, it's pretty simple to copy this over. Grab your ulaunch elf folder, grab the fun tuna file, copy both of these. Now we can exit out, go to your USB drive, and paste right into the root of your USB drive. And as you can see, our folder and our file are right there. So with all that copied over, we can come back here to our computer, right click, safely eject our USB drive. Now at this point, you want to go over to your PS2 Slim, plug in your memory card, plug in your USB drive, and pop in your free DVD boot disk to continue on. So over at my PS2, I'm going to do this all manually just to show you how it works. But as you can see right here, it's working just fine. I'm going to go into the browser and right here we have a memory card plugged in, which is what we need. So I'm just going to close it up and it should load up our free DVD boot disc. Now once it recognizes, it should recognize as a DVD video and to boot this up, it's pretty simple. You just press the X button and wait. And once it's all done and you see this screen, congratulations, you might be booting up your first piece of homebrew on your PS2 Slim. Or if you already have Fortuna on here, you might be familiar with this. It's also worth noting, if you're not using free DVD boot and you have something such as Fortuna already installed, you just go through the regular process of loading up ulaunch elf to get to this same point. Now once we're here, again, make sure your USB drive is plugged in, press the circle button for the file explorer, and go down to mass and press the circle button on here. Once your USB drive loads up, go down to ulaunch elf, press the circle button, go down to working ule.elf and press the circle button yet again. Now it's going to load up a different version of ulaunch elf, which is the build that was included with this. So we can press the circle button, go back down to mass, press the circle button, Go down to Fun Tuna, press the R1 button, and press circle on copy. Now come back up to the two dots and slash, 
press the circle button. And now make sure your memory card is plugged in. So if it's in slot one, it's going to be MC0. If it's in slot two, it's going to be MC1. But since mine is in slot one, I'm going to go to MC0, press circle. And now if you have a already existing Fortuna install, you need to delete it. So if you have a folder that says Fortuna, highlight it, press the R1 button, go down to delete and press circle. If it asks you to delete, you press circle over OK. Now that that's deleted, we are good to go. If you do not have a Fortuna folder, that means that you don't have Fortuna installed, so there's nothing for you to delete. But at this point, we need to make sure we also have enough free space. So look in the top right corner of the screen and look at how much free space you have. This uses about 2.6, 2.7 megabytes of storage here, so you need to make sure you have enough free space. Obviously, I have enough, so in order to copy this, you need to scroll up here to the two dots and slash, press the R1 button, go down to PSU paste, and press the circle button. And now just wait. So now with all of that copied over, we can press circle to get out of here once that is highlighted. And we now need to restart the console. So go over to your PS2, we need to physically restart it, and you can remove your free DVD boot DVD if you used free DVD boot to install this. Now once your PS2 restarts, it's not going to look any different. So you might be asking what's going on. Well, this is how you boot up Fortuna or Funtuna. You have to go into the browser. Now go into your memory card. And as you can see, there's going to be a couple of corrupted datas or, you know, invisible items right here. That is to be expected. That means that Funtuna is working as expected. So if it is, you press the circle button to go back. You press circle yet again. And as you can see, this beautiful free McBoot logo should show up. And if it does, congratulations, Funtuna is installed and working as easy as that. Now the downside is you will not be able to get this to automatically boot up. So that means every single time you boot up your PS2, if you're using Funtuna, you do have to go through that process, but it's quite simple to do. As an example here, I'm just going to show you start to finish how fast this would be. So browser, memory card, back, back, and as you can see, Free McBoot is popping up. So it just takes a few extra seconds to launch here, but it works just fine. Now within Free McBoot itself, this does come included with a few extra applications. So you launch Elf is on here, ESR is on here to play your patched ESR backup games, open PS2 loader, of course, and simple media system. Now, just to show you that this is working, I'll even go in here to OPL and I do have a USB drive which is plugged in right now, which I've already set up and configured with OPL prior. If you are interested in setting up OPL for USB game playback, I do have a full video that will be linked in the description. But either way from here, once you have this all set up, I can really just pick whatever. I'm going to pick extermination for example, load this up and it should, for the most part, work just fine. So as you can see, after a bit, we were able to get right here, but the game is launching and should work just fine. And this is all off my USB drive from OPL, which was included in the Funtuna install. So that's about it, you all. Funtuna getting it installed here was as easy as that. As kind of a last thing here, I would of course like to give a shout out and thank you to Howling Wolf and Chelsea on here for just kind of dropping this release surprisingly. Uh, I wasn't seeing anything from this, any lead up to it, but it was really cool just to kind of see this pop up all of a sudden. And of course, I mean, look at this free McBoot, full free McBoot working on every single PS2 Slim easily. Thanks to Fortuna. That's pretty cool in my opinion. Anyways, I do hope you all have some fun with the new fun tuna installation on here. Hopefully this helped you all out. If it did, a like would be appreciated. If you didn't like this, a dislike is fine as well too. And as I always say, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone.